Hey babes, it's Jenny Procopi from chronicbabe.com and you're here for another edition of AWAP Wednesday. If this is your first time being with us, AWAP stands for as well as possible. And in everything I do for Chronic Babe, that is my hope, to help you learn to live as well as possible in spite of chronic illness. Now, as you can see, it's a little cray cray around here. <laughs> I'm moving in a few weeks, so the packing has already started. I'm trying to pace myself by doing a few boxes a day and getting help from friends, but it's gonna be a little chaotic around Chronic Babe HQ for the next few weeks. So uh, you're probably gonna see me at a few different venues until I'm settled into my new place. Okay, so let's dive into today's AWAP Wednesday question. It's from a fellow chronic babe, and she writes, you're so inspiring. I am so thankful. Thank you so much. You mentioned reading about in inspirational people. Can you share with us some books and information regarding your favorite inspirational people? That is a great question, babe. I do surround myself with inspirational people, starting with my friends and family, the people who believe in me the most and the people who are so creative and brilliant and progressive and committed to their work. Those are the kinds of people I just like to hang out with on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's a great starting place, but I've made a list for you of some of my favorite people that you can access from your home that you can share your love of with me. <laughs> and I'll be curious to hear what you think. So let's dive in. The first person I want to talk about is Jessica Swift. Now, if you've seen other videos of my place, any other videos of mine, you know I love color and I love patterns. So Jessica Swift is the best person for me <laughs> when it comes to picking out stationery and looking at art. And she does a lot of inspirational quotes in uh, beautiful artistically framed pieces. And she's got this great book called The Declaration of You, which I really love. She wrote it with Michelle Ward. And it's a great book to go through. You can see that it's really, really colorful inside and got lots of illustrations. And even just the text is really beautiful. Everything she does has color and lightness to it. And I can totally get behind that. One of my favorite Buddhist teachers, Pema Chodron, is completely accessible to non-Buddhists. I mean, really anybody can learn from her. She's got a really incredible perspective on life that has helped me so much and really helped me gain a lot of strength in my acceptance of chronic illness. And I really recommend this book by her. It's called The Places That Scare You, A Guide to Fearlessness in Difficult Times. Um, I'm reading this again right now. <laughs> you can tell the pages are kind of yellowed. I've had this book for a while and I've read it a ton of times. She is a fantastic teacher and will inspire you to no end. You can find quotes from her online for free everywhere. A lot of her books are available very affordable on Amazon, on Kindle. I like paperbacks. I like to mark them up and highlight them and stuff like a nerd. <laughs> Okay, I've mentioned her before. I'm probably gonna mention her again, Marie Forleo. She is one of my favorite online ladies who focuses on business. She's got a great weekly video blog about how to be a kick-ass lady in business and how to really lead from within from your values and kind of honor your values and your spirit as you go forward in creating your own business and running your business. So I highly recommend that you subscribe to her free newsletter, get her stuff. I'm taking her B-School, which is a huge financial investment and time investment, but so phenomenally educational. I'm actually retaking it. Once you take it once, you get to take it for free for the rest of your life every year when they do it. And I gotta tell you, I learned so much from her every day, every week, even if I just watched her free videos once a week, that would be enough. I would learn so much. So I really recommend Marie Forleo. Speaking of online gurus, I really want to recommend Danielle Laporte. She's got a daily free email subscription called the Daily Truth Bomb, which delivers like really amazing advice in your inbox. Sometimes it's so perfectly timed. In fact, if you've watched previous videos, one of her slogans I've got pasted up over my bed in my bathroom is simply self-care is a divine responsibility. 
Talk about a truth bomb. <laughs> Laid it on me. She's also got this incredible program called the Desire Map, which really helps you hone in on your deepest desires, which to me is so powerful because then you can use that knowledge and pursue all these other things in your life, your relationships, your work, your art, your self-care, everything based on your deepest desires. So Danielle Laporte, she rocks. Okay, want to get inspired by one of your fellow chronic babes? I highly recommend that you check out the blog of Carly Findlay. She's an Australian woman and she has a skin condition called ichthyosis, which makes her skin kind of red and she has to wear like a petroleum, petroleum, <laughs> petroleum based cream all the time on it. So she kind of stands out in a crowd for that and many other reasons. She has fantastic, fantastic fashion sense, a great sense of humor. She loves food. She takes lots of foodie photos. She's super fun and she has stood up to some of the meanest people on earth on Reddit and she's gotten a lot of press about it, which is great because she's really speaking out for people with visible disability and chronic illness. So she is a woman who will absolutely inspire you. So definitely check out Carly Finley. She rocks. One of my newest favorite online personalities is Vivian McMaster. She's a photographer in Vancouver and she has this be your own beloved self portraiture class, which I think is kind of fantastic. And I started to think for women with chronic illness, it makes such a great um, partnership to a lot of other things that we do. She really teaches you how to kind of fall in love with, you, with yourself again um, through self portraiture. And a lot of us are kind of shy about getting in front of a camera. I clearly am not, but many of you are. So I really encourage you to check her out. She's got some really interesting thoughts on image and how we see ourselves that I think could help people see deeper inside themselves and appreciate their bodies and them, their, their place in the world, even if they're sick and feeling kind of useless, which a lot of us do sometimes. So Vivian McMaster. Okay. And speaking of loving ourselves, Evian Whitney, she is amazing. <laughs> I've been a fan of hers for many years. She um, writes this incredible site about sensuality and love, and she does a lot of work about coming back to love ourselves, really taking good care of our bodies, really learning to appreciate everything around us in a very sensual way, by which I mean using all your senses, vision, um, hearing, smell, touch, taste. She is a very incredible person and she is somebody who I think we can all learn from. So I definitely recommend that you check out her site, follow her on Instagram. She posts some really cool photos and um, she's not afraid to post a pic of herself in a bubble bath, which I can get down with. I have done that too. It's kind of a courageous thing I say. I don't want to like toot my own horn, but it took a little bit of chutzpah to do that. Um, so yeah, Evian Whitney, I think she's just the best. Okay, I could go on forever. I really could. But you know who is most inspiring to me? Every day when I come to the site, it's you. It's all the people who are part of this project, the people who are on our forum, the people who write back when I send out a newsletter, the folks who comment on these videos, both here and at YouTube, the folks who find me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and tell me how amazing they love, how, how amazing Chronic Babe is in their lives. It's you, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm kind of getting choked up. All the stories that you share, all the inspiration that you share, every time you tell me that my work is meaningful to you, I'm telling you there are days where I feel like giving it all up because it's so hard and you lift me up. So if you want, I'm really, really starting to get choked up here. If you really want a big mega dose of inspiration, all you've got to do is go back through the site or back through the Chronic Babe archives and read all the posts and read the comments and see that we've got such a kick ass community of amazing women who are really striving to live incredible lives in spite of illness. And it will be a daily source of inspiration for you as it is for me. Okay, now it's your turn. Now that I'm done being choked up, <laughs> now it's your turn. I would love if you would tell us who are your sources of inspiration, books, music, movies, actors, actresses, scientists, 
uh, politicians, you name it. Any of your online gurus, any of your spiritual gurus, I want all of them. I want to hear all of them. They're really, that's a great thing for me to know. And a great thing for all of our other chronic babes to know because they gain inspiration from that. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can comment here, but the best comment conversations happen over at chronicbabe.com. So I really recommend you pop over to chronicbabe.com and join the conversation there. We have on average like 15 or 20 different comments on each post, like people really get into conversation. So I really recommend you head over there to comment. Now, did you like this video? Then please like it <laughs> and share it with your friends. We have presence on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and Instagram, and please feel free to share this video on any of those platforms or email a link to it to your friends. Any way you can spread the word is great. And if you can't get enough of watching me on camera, <laughs> check out our Chronic Babe AWAP Wednesday playlist. We've now got more than three hours of inspirational instructional videos for you. So please come on over to the playlist. You might be there already and jump in. There's something for everybody in there. Is there a question that I can answer for you? I would love to answer your AWAP Wednesday questions. Just add your question in the comments below or shoot me an email through the website on our contact page. You can send me an email right through there and I will answer your question as soon as I can on the next AWAP Wednesday video. All right, that's what I got for you today. I hope this has been helpful and enjoyable. I could have gone on and on and on. It's just the tip of the iceberg, but these should be enough to get you started. All right, until we meet again, be AWAP. Mwah. Beep. This incredible program, a book and a book club and all kinds of stuff called... <laughs>